Cytron is the latest Nintendo Switch emulator on the market, and the folks behind it just released a brand new update. Among the various performance and compatibility improvements for Android, this update brings the emulator up to version 0.6 Canary, and it actually includes an easy multiplayer feature for joining and creating lobbies with your friends. As they still don't have version 1 of the emulator ready today, there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done, including performance optimizations for specific titles and a variety of compatibility fixes that need to be implemented. The headlighting feature of this update is its multiplayer functionality. This isn't something that's connecting to a third party server somewhere, nor is it going to be actual online play using Nintendo's own network. Instead, the Cytron emulator now has the ability to create or join rooms with people who you want to play with. After installing the update, we can find this new feature by first launching the application and then tapping on this gear icon in the bottom right so that we can go into the settings area. Now from here, look toward the top and you should find a multiplayer card that we can tap on. This gives us another hovered card where we can tap the join button and from here we can get the IP address, port number, username, and the password for the room that you want to join. Alternatively, if you want to create a room, again, we tap on the multiplayer option within the settings, then we tap on create. From here, you're going to want to put your public IP address, not your internal one. Again, you'll want to configure the port to whichever port you have open and accessible to the internet, usually through some port forwarding feature of your router. Then we have a username and a password that we can set up with. And this is what we give to our friends so that they can enter the username and password. And lastly, we have a room name that we can give this room. There's also a way to limit the number of people who can join setting the max players from two all the way up to 16. This new setup could end up changing in the future as the new feature matures over time, but it has been tested with a number of games and it seems to work in most instances. Just remember that this is still considered to be a feature that is in development. So be sure to report any bugs or issues that you may be having so the developers of Cytron are able to identify and resolve those issues that have been found in the code base. This new update to Cytron comes with a load of new features and improvements as well. The official Git repo for this project, which is not currently hosted on GitHub, lists all of the changes, which include a number of Android optimizations, some memory management improvements, there's that multiplayer functionality, some build system improvements. There have been a few technical fixes for graphics and rendering, specifically with Vulkan. And there's been some improvements for the shader compilation. Last up, we have some system services like security enhancements and legal compliances. And again, there have been a number of compatibility and performance improvements, such as stability fixes, some Android specific enhancements, and the default settings. So we have some usability improvements If you end up having any issues with this update, it's recommended to do a clean install. Now, you're going to want to back up your saved files ahead of time, and then make sure that you have the firmware, which needs to be reinstalled, as well as the prod keys file. 
While there have been a lot of changes implemented through this new update, it's important to realize that this emulator is still in its early stages. Even the details listed within the future plans talk about needing to complete the multiplayer system, the need for more Android optimizations, improved memory management systems for low-end devices, improved game compatibility, and more. You can download this update by going to this official Git project page, which I'll be linking to in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment, so it's easy for everyone to find. And you're going to want to download the app mainline release. There is an Antutu and optimized versions, which can help to improve performance on very specific hardware. However, for everyone who does not want to experiment with this, it's best to just download the app mainline release like I have done. Lately, we seem to be getting a new update to Cytron for Android about once a month. We're seeing at least three different people who are actively developing this Switch emulator right now. And I would be curious to learn how many of you have had a chance to try out any of these Canary builds of Cytron as of late. I'm seeing the community starting to get excited about this Nintendo Switch emulator since there's been so much bad news over the last 14 months. From the new multiplayer update to improvements in both app stability and game compatibility, it seems as if this is going to be the Switch emulator to keep your eyes on right now. And before I forget, please remember to like this video as it really helps to understand who enjoys content like this and subscribe to the channel as well since we're getting really close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone and every sub for the channel is helping out.